Um, let's talk about this solar eclipse forecast. You ready for it? It's on the seven day. Let's uh, let's start talking about what we have coming our way. I want to talk about, well, what we know. We know it's going to be mild. We've got milder air coming our way for the weekend. Could be near 60 degrees. Could be pushing middle and upper 50s to near 60. So temperatures, I wouldn't worry about that. It's going to be mild. But what I would worry about, some of the models are hinting at this wave rolling in here. It's going to be rolling in. Could bring us some showers. Honestly, clouds will be around. It may not be as cloudy as today, but I do expect clouds to be hanging around early next week. That will keep the temperatures mild at least, at least overnight into early parts of the morning. So I think we're going to be okay temperature wise, but we really got to hope for some dry stuff. It's still over a week away or over, you know, five, six days away. It's, it's next week. So we're watching it. We're watching it. Uh, and honestly, I think we're shaping up okay compared to the rest of the path, even all the way down in Texas, parts of the area of Texas, uh, Arkansas, Oklahoma, all the way up through the region. They may be cloudier than us. 52 in Akron. We'll talk about what we do know. We do know that cooler air is settling in today. 50s outside in spots with 40s taking over. We're dropping New Philly, Coshocton, Youngstown, near 60 degrees for now. West winds, southwest winds taking over, already trying to roll in here with those southwest winds. They're actually wrapping around this system well west of us, and that's pulling in some cooler Canadian air. Going to drop us down. We're in the 40s through the afternoon. we got to bring in some afternoon rain showers, not a ton, but a few thunder showers later on today just wrapping around that system. Look at that low out there. And you see how those last couple little scans have kind of, reg kind of receded it back a little bit farther to the west? This is cut off from the main upper level system or the main level flow is stacked up. So what it's going to do is just going to continue to pull around some cooler air and we're going to bring in some showers this afternoon. But I think once we get into tonight, tomorrow morning, we're not just going to be tracking rain. We're going to be tracking some snowflakes mixing in with it through today. We should be drying out through the middle part of the day and then we'll bring back, like I said, some afternoon thunder showers. I'll show you tonight's snow chances coming up.